At its launch, Twitter was heralded as a new and revolutionary way to communicate. During the Arab Spring five years ago, it was widely used to help protesters organise. But since then, it's been used to launch often vicious personal attacks. It has become um, a space where people also experience really, really challenging personal invasion of what is for many a workspace um, by people who have particular sort of one-sided interests. If an account is being creepy or obnoxious, use block. Twitter was criticised for responding too slowly to the online harassment. It has set up a reporting system, but for some, the public platform is too risky. We all have heard the stories where people have been burned uh, by uh, tweets that uh, were misconstrued or tweets they, they, they said in the spur of the moment. Um, so I think giving them more control for individual tweets uh, might get people back to the platform. Twitter's also struggled to earn the kind of money Google and Facebook are making online. Over 10 years, it's lost more than $2 billion, prompting increasing moves to sell advertising on the platform. What they're really doing is they are profiling you and monetizing that information, monetizing you. That's a very lucrative business. Um, so, but the commercialization, of course, is against the interests of the people that use the platform who just want a quick means of communicating. To win over more users, Twitter has been making changes, including last year's launch of its live video streaming site Periscope. Users may be taking more care about how and what they tweet, but for many, its appeal remains as it's always been. The possibility to connect and communicate in real time with an unprecedented number of people. Tarek Basley, Al Jazeera.